there was a king called Vikramaditya. He was known for his righteousness and piousness. He was a saint and a king. He had all the characters that is required of a king, of a wise man, of a saint, of a good human being, of an intelligent human. There will be many good human beings, but they are not intelligent. <laughs> and there are intelligent human beings and they are not good. So this king had all these aspects, very patient. So after he died, there was nobody that could take his place. So his chair, his seat became so powerful that nobody could get on to that throne. He was living in the central India. So up to some time, what usually, you know, that the throne got buried. Actually, I left the suspense to you now. <laughs> and many years had passed, and there was a garden, beautiful garden, and there was a gardener in that garden. And the garden had a mound, mound, you know, a small hillock. So the gardener would go on top of the hillock and would have a big smile on his face. And he would invite everybody. People, everyone, oh, please come. He will. In, from there he could see the, the road and the city. And then people, all the passerbyers, he would call them. Oh, please come, come. There is so much fruits in my garden. And there are so many beautiful flowers. Please come and take them. So... Oh, people would uh, listen to him, he would plead to everybody, come please have, there are mangoes, there are coconuts, please come have. So when they come, and he would come down the hill, and he would take a stick and try to chase them. <laughs> he would chase them, he would fight with them, he would be so nasty. He asked them, why do you come, how dare you trespass into my garden, how dare you want mangoes? People did not, could not understand his behavior. This, this gentleman a few minutes ago, he invited us, now he is scolding on. He's behaving differently. So, some thought he is he's mad, but some other thought, no, no, there must be something. Let us go and find out and dig what is under this mound. So the, the hillock, they went and dig that hillock, and they found the throne of this king, Vikramaditya. Said, so this is the impact that it has happened on this person. So our mind moves with vibrations. With different situations, different incidences, we are different. If you sit in the negative company, you start feeling negative. If you sit with a company which always puts doubts and which always says there is no good possible on the planet Earth, then that's how our mind becomes. That's why Lord Buddha said, Sangha means the company of people who are think positive, who are focused on the higher goals in life, are so important. Huh? If someone is all the time thinking about money, 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 or someone thinking about how to cheat others and this sort of mentality, those vibrations really does not bring joy into anybody's life. And if there is a group of joyful people like here, and anyone who is not joyful comes in, they also start becoming joyful. 